I've always had a soft spot for train travel, and as a nation that invented steam trains, I think we have a unique fascination with the romance of it. Travelling by train, especially steam, is deeply ingrained in our cultural fabric. It has a certain romance that just doesn't work with any other form of travel. Carnforth, just up the line from Morecambe, is a small and pretty Victorian railway station that occupies a very special place in railway history. Firstly, it's the only working station that has high-speed intercity trains whizzing right through it, but also has a museum as part of the platform. And if you didn't know any better and you just stepped off a train, you think you've been transported back in time to the 1940s. Inside and out, the station is littered with displays and exhibits to evoke that most romantic period of rail history. It's a rail enthusiast's delight. But there's something else quite unique about Carnforth that attracts thousands of visitors from all over the world. This is where they shot some of the iconic scenes for one of the most romantic films of all time, Brief Encounter. For me, the film sums up the romance of the railway station and, of course, a bygone era. And surely it's got to be one of the finest stories of love committed to film. But look at this, it's a little cinema here in the station that plays Brief Encounter continuously every day. That's 1,440 times a year. <laughs> It's a melodrama, and it's where Celia Johnson, who I have to say is absolutely stunningly beautiful, the bored housewife, meets Trevor Howard, the gallant doctor, who gets a bit of grit out of her eye. There. Oh, what a relief. It was agonising. Looks like a bit of grit. It was when the express went through. Thank you very much indeed. Now, this brief encounter leads, quite innocently, to a good friendship, but the more they meet at the station, the more it gets intense, and they start to fall in love. It's one of those situations that could ruin a marriage. Now, if you haven't seen this film, I'm not going to tell you the end because it will ruin it for you. But it really is a wonderfully, wonderfully romantic story of two tortured souls. It epitomises the great British character as well, that stiff upper lip and dutifulness. It's absolutely brilliant. It really is. It's written by Noel Coward and directed by David Lean, arguably the greatest British film director of all time. Now, his CV is littered with amazing films such as Great Expectations, Lawrence of Arabia, Dr Zhivago, Bridge on the River Kwai, and the list just goes on and on and on. But what appeals to me about Brief Encounter, compared to the grand epics, is that the intimacy of romance is so beautifully captured at this railway station. What I really like is this tea room. It's been beautifully restored. I love the attention to detail. It's like walking onto the film set of Brief Encounter back in 1945. Yet the scenes weren't shot in here. They were done in a studio in London. They just recreated a carbon copy of this tea room and the restroom. Although the story is set near London, the scenes on the station exterior had to be filmed at Carnforth. That's because in 1945, when they were making Brief Encounter, the Second World War was still raging and all the lights used for filming a movie at night would have been an easy target for German bombers. David Lean had to find an alternative location and Carnforth in North Lancashire was remote enough to be safe. 
my favourite part has to be the platform clock, which featured prominently in Brief Encounter. And here it is. It looks a bit different now because the set designers in the movie covered it over with cardboard to hide the hands to keep continuity. But here it is now in all its former glory. Now up here, that's where the mechanism is. And now that operates the clock by virtue of a drive shaft, which goes all the way across to the clock face. But unusually, this has a wooden pendulum. It's a wooden pole. It's very much like a grandfather clock, but I've not seen that in a grandfather clock. If that was in a metal, that would expand and contract with the weather conditions and affect the time. So being wood, that keeps very good time. And incidentally, you only have to wind this up twice a week. Forgive me for loving you. Well, it's not often you can say this about a working railway station, but this place is all about love. The love of rail travel and the celebration of a great love film. Brief Encounter takes us back to a bygone era, the golden age of steam, where everything seems so innocent and a world away from the social conventions we have today. But luckily enough, Carnford Station allows us to come and visit and soak up pure nostalgia for a lost time. Mm -hmm.